raincoat here to keep you warm Then go back in the closet after the storm I'm not a match simply waiting to burn All I am is a friend, your friend to the end I am coming to you from the granary at Richmond Hill in Cressy, Tasmania. I am so excited about this place. The sheer scale and the luxe factor that this place has. It's absolutely enormous. Rustic, luxury, chic, three bedroom, two bathroom, nine couch property. Absolutely incredible place. It's actually really affordable. I'll explain more about that later on in the video. It's a working farm stay property. Very deluxe, fully self-contained. Can't wait to show you guys around. Cressy is in the central to northern part of Tasmania. It's a small country town flanked by these huge mountains, beautiful farmland, quiet winding little country roads. Arriving at the property is, an, is a real experience in itself. There's a massive hedge which runs the whole span of their driveway, which is probably about five or six hundred meters long. It feels very stately and kind of like you're about to arrive at some big mansion or manor. And that definitely happens when you do get there. There's a huge circular driveway and from there you get your first glimpse of the granary. It's very impressive. It is a behemoth of a property. It looks so, so cool. It's like 200 years old. It's made from convict sandstone. Tasmanian convict sandstone often has these little divots in it where the convicts used to kind of shave them down and it's just peppered with those. So. You're staying in a place which has a real, real rich history to it. This is a true estate. If you've ever wanted to stay somewhere where you have total privacy, vast grounds, this is for you. I honestly, I feel like a rock star staying here. I feel like if you're a celebrity and you just finished a gig or a concert and you wanted to go to some beautiful country ranch or estate, just have like total privacy from the paps, um, you'd you'd come here. It's like a, your own fortress, so private. There is manicured grass and gardens everywhere you look. There are beautiful established trees. Over at the private residence, Fiona and Nick have a beautiful hedge garden and a lavender garden. So if you want, with each stay, you can actually go and get a private tour. I definitely suggest doing that because it is just really beautiful. There's a heap of guinea fowl which roam the property. They go anywhere they like. This morning I opened my front door, my front door, the granary's front door. They were all sitting directly out front just having a look at my Adidas high tops. They probably appreciated them. They roost in the trees, in the big oak trees at night and it's pretty cool watching them. I didn't film it but at night they jump up there and um, they run around the tree. This, they've got such great balance. It was like something off Avatar, kind of running through the trees, these big meaty kind of chicken looking birds. So they're really sweet and there's two chooks as well and they're adorable, they'll come right up to you. I have chooks, I actually have two chooks as well. I love chickens um, as pets. So I scruffed one of them and gave them a bit of a hug. I don't think she appreciated it, but you know, she didn't have a say in the matter. The guys, they farm sheep. The day I actually arrived, they were doing some sheep work and the entrance to the granary was blocked by all of the sheep. It's a working farm. Let's start inside. So this place has three bedrooms, two bathrooms and a huge living area. It's like 30 meters long, this main area, which I'm standing in right now. To give you a bit of an idea about how big it is, it's got nine couches, and that's just one wing of the house. The design and style of the property is really beautiful. It's the original deep, thick sandstone, very rustic, huge wooden beams, timber floorboards, just really cozy, really warm, everything you'd expect from a rustic 200-year-old sandstone granary. You enter the property and you come into an arrival foyer, which basically has a grand staircase. You've got hooks and hats and things uh, on the wall all provided. 
Off this main foyer to the right is the master suite. This is absolutely beautiful. It's huge, it's a massive room. King size bed, got some glass French doors which lead outside to the gardens. It really is quite spectacular watching the morning light come through these windows. Attached to the master suite, you have a beautiful ensuite. Again, no shortage of space in here, huge walk-in shower. So down at the lower level of the granary, there used to be a stable with cobbled floor and big beams. And I'm not gonna spoil anything, but the owners, they did share a little secret with me about something that they potentially have in mind for that space, which would be really cool. Also on the lower level, you have the second bedroom here. You have two um, king single beds. Again, the light in the morning just streams into this room and it is really, really beautiful. There's also a Harry Potter room under the staircase. I knocked, didn't get a response, but you know, for all the Harry Potter fans out there, immediately up the stairs, to the right of the landing is the third bedroom. This room has its own little balcony that looks over one of the gardens of the granary and it overlooks a beautiful fountain as well. And there's something about the sound of flowing water, especially a fountain, it's just really, really peaceful. This is a really unique bathroom. It's got hybrid of a Moroccan or Balinese fusion to it. You've got this big timber archway above the shower and these Northern African or Middle Eastern style light pendants. The shower here is huge. It's obviously a double shower and um, yeah, no shortage of space in here either. Coming down into the main area, it's just staggering how beautiful it is and also how big it is. I can just picture being here with, you know, friends and family. There's so many different little breakout spots. There's this beautiful lounge area with three big couches, a huge coffee table, massive fireplace. You've also got a couple of little day beds as well, which you can rip out into the sun and um, sit on the deck. That would be really fun. At the end of the building here is the kitchen. So this is a fully catered kitchen. You don't need to bring anything with you other than food. They've literally got everything. You're totally covered. And just up the road in Longford, about 10 minutes drive away, there is a Hill Street grocer. Head there before you come here and stock up and you'll be sweet. Every now and then you come across a property which is really, really special. And I found it. I found the hidden gem. Everything is so meticulous, everything is so clean. Like, could you imagine how much cleaning is involved to prepare this property? And I'm not kidding, you could walk around this place with a white glove on and you will not find a speck of dust. It is just absolutely spotless. All guests at the property are encouraged to go and explore and there is a beautiful river. There's a historic ruined fire pit down there. It's kind of all derelict and falling down, so be careful around it. It's a great spot to hang out and you know, play around and take in the beautiful country scenic views. At the river, there is a dock and a pontoon. Maybe not now, but in the summertime, just the most extraordinary place to hang out for balmy summer nights, diving off the dock and having a swim, frogs croaking, beautiful fields around you with your private granary, you know, waiting for you. Definitely go down and check that place out. Very special part of the property down there. Don't miss it. It would be so amazing to come here with a couple of generations, with your grandparents, your parents, with you, or your parents, you, your children, you know, if you're fortunate enough to have them and to have that sort of family. And running around outside with the kids, playing with the chickens, the guinea fowl, going for a jump off the dock and swim, coming back, cooking beautiful meals together, enjoying company in this beautiful, beautiful environment. It's just breathtaking, it really does. It takes your breath away. It's actually well priced as well. So the property is 750 bucks for the night. Even at that price point, there's an incredible amount of value. This is just an enormous property. You can have six people stay comfortably. 750 divided by six works out to be $125 per person per night. So if you wanna come here on your own, great. If you wanna do it a little bit more economically, come here with some friends and family and you can pay as little as $125 and you get all of this, this epic experience. That about wraps up today's tour. If you guys enjoyed this video and you got something out of it, please hit the like button. That would mean a lot. I'll leave everything about the property, where to book in the description. Nick and Fiona, 
thank you so much for having me. Truly from the bottom of my heart, you made me feel so welcome and so special here. And I cannot wait to come back and bring my friends and family. Bye guys. Uh, yeah, what am I gonna say? Okay, are we gonna come inside now? We'll come inside. Enough room to skin a cat. Skin a cat? Swing a cat. Enough room to swing a cat, not skin. Um, imagine coming here with... Oh. Sorry. It's my alarm to say it's time to go.